Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering a question from a Solomon L a collection from S1, Statistics S1, from the Edexcel examining board. And this, this is um, a question that I've included in my end of topic worksheets for statistics um, on worksheet number six, which is actually not normal distribution, but discrete random variables. Oh, I don't know why I wrote that there. This is discrete random variables. Discrete random variables. Okay, whoops. Variables. Let me just slow down, sorry. Okay, discrete random variables. Sorry about that. Okay, now, okay, so this is question 13 from the, the end of topic worksheet on discrete random variables, which is number six from my collection. And here we're told that uh, the random variable x is such that the expected value of x or the mean of x is a and the variance of x is b. Find expressions in terms of a and b for, first of all, e, e, e2x plus 3. So we know that e of x equals a and variance of x equals b. Now, the expected value of something, if there's some sort of coding that's taken place where the, the, um, the values have been multiplied by 2 and all the values have been and 3 have added to them, well, addition and subtraction both affect the mean. So, for example, if I have some numbers here like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can see the mean is is 3, right? That's the mean. We add them together and divide by 2, we're going to get 3. As we can see, that's 9, 10, 15, um, 15, um, sorry, yeah, 15 divided by 5 is 3. So the mean is 3, we can see that. Now, if I was to add 1 to each of these numbers, that'll become 1, that'll become 2, that'll become 3, that'll become 4, that'll become 5. The mean would increase, okay? Um, what am I talking about? <laughs> Sorry about that. If I was to add one to each of those numbers, I would get two, three, four, five, six. So the mean would become four. So adding one to each of the numbers makes the mean increase by one. And if I were to, for example, multiply each of these numbers by two, I would get two, four, six, eight, and ten. And the mean would now go from 3 to 6, which also be multiplied by 2. So the mean is affected by multiplication and division, right? So the expected value of 2x plus 3, okay, would be the same as 2 times the expected value of x plus 3. So the mean would be multiplied by 2. So you have 2 times a, and then 3 would be added to it. Okay, so there's the answer to part a. Pretty simple. Okay, and then part B is asking about the variance of 2x plus 3. Now, by the same token as what I just showed you now, if I have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and I were to add 1 to every item, as we said, that becomes 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, the variance is a measure of how spread out the data is, basically. It's like the, the um, sum of the average, um, the average um, of the squares of each item from the mean, um, you know, based something like that, how far they are apart from the mean. So it's how spread out they are. Now, if we look at the spread of the data in this first line, 5 minus 1, it's 4. And over here, when you've, when you've multiplied, when you've added 1 to everything, the spread of the data hasn't changed. It's still 4. So the addition, adding something to the, or every data value does not change the spread of the data. But if I took these data values and multiplied them by 2, I would have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now, by, when we multiply by 2, we see that the spread of the data has now become 10 minus 2, which is 8. It's doubled. All right. So the variance okay, is affected only by the... Um, addition and subtraction, uh, sorry, only by the multiplication and not by addition and subtraction. And in addition, the, the variance is the square of the standard deviation. It's the square of, you could say, the spread of the data. It's the square of the spread of the data. You can think of it like that. So if you've multiplied everything by 2, okay, um, if the variance was, um, you know, I mean, if, if the, whatever the variance was, Okay, if you've multiplied all the, uh, the, the, the values by 2, you have to, the, the, the standard deviation would be twice as big as what it was before. 
So that means the variance, as we know, the variance is the square of the standard deviation. So what we got to do for the variance, when we want to find expressions for the, the variance, the variance is going to be the number that's multiplying the x squared times, sorry, it's two squared there. The number multiplying the x, which is two here, squared times the variance of x. And we don't have to um, add or subtract anything to it. You ignore know the plus three because that doesn't change the spread of the data. The only thing that changes it is what's multiplying. And because this variance is the square of the standard deviation, we square that number that's multiplying. Um, you know, that x so is two squared, which is four times the variance of x, which is b. So this is going to equal 4b. So there's the answer for a and b of this question. Okay, quite straightforward. Now we're going to do part c. It's asking us to find the, basically the mean of the squares of the data. Okay, now what we know is, um, we know that the variance of x is equal to the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. So the mean is ex all squared. Okay, ex all squared. Now we know what the variance is, is b. And we have to find this. And we know that the expected value is a. So this is going to be, you know, um, that's going to be minus a squared, right? Because that's the square of the mean. The mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. So the mean of the squares is going to be b plus a squared, basically. Just rearrange that. And we've, we've answered that question. So ex squared is equal to b plus a squared. So there's the answer for part C. Okay. As I said, quite straightforward. And now for part D, it says, part D says, show that EX plus one all squared is equal to A plus one all squared plus B. All right, so we know that EX is equal to A. And we know that EX squared is equal to B plus A squared. Okay. Um, so we can say e x plus 1 squared. If I expand that, that's going to be e. And I'll have x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, because I have got th expressed things in terms of these things. So that would be the same as the expected value, I could say, of x squared. Plus the expected value of 2x. Plus the expected value of, of 1. Okay, so um, we could say here that the expected value of x squared is what we found. It's going to be a squared plus b. And this is going to be two times the expected value of x plus expected value of 1. So you have a squared plus b plus 2 times a plus 1. Expected value of 1 is going to be 1. Okay. So now, we have to show that this becomes the same as that. So we have a squared plus 2a plus 1 plus b. And this is the same as a plus 1 squared. Because you have a squared. If you expand this, you have a squared plus 2a plus one. That's right. That factorizes this. And that's exactly what we have to show. Okay, so it's just a case of just putting the values we know expected value of one is going to be one, of course, right. And here expected value of x squared, we already found that expected value of, of x we know is two a so two, two of um, you know, e two x will be the same as two e x, which is two times a. And then we just factorize this part here. And we get exactly what we, well, not this part here, this, this part here without the b. Okay, we factorize a squared plus 2a plus 1. And then we added b to the end. And there we have shown part d, which concludes this question number 13 from the endotopic worksheet number 6 on discrete random variables. Other questions from the Solomon L collection from S1 can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. Other questions from the topic of discrete random variables 
Um, well, first of all, from this worksheet on uh, discrete random variables from my um, end of topic worksheets, you can find the other questions in the playlist. Other questions from discrete random variables in general in my S1 collection of um, you know, questions can be found in this playlist. And you can watch the video that will show at the end here, which will tell you how to navigate through my channel to use uh, to find things uh, quickly. Thank you for watching and see you soon.